where do you think your mindset is and what do you think developed that as a kid? My mindset? As in for striving for more or just being who you are to today, you know? Yeah. Um, well, uh, so, my a quick about me, I guess. Uh, my family is from Guatemala, so that's Central America. Um, so we had to, you know, my, right. my grade up here, um, across the border, all that shit. Dude, li- literally, I- I've never really got the full story of how they even got here, dude. Really? Legit. So you have? I think I've asked, but like, <laughs> they always like duck the question somehow. So I'm, dude, I'm assuming some like fuck shit happened because like. It was a cartel. Because, yes, dude, that's how most people got through. They use the coyotes, the, the people who get you through, and they they do what they needed to, and all you had to do was listen to them, or they'll you can get fucking capped or something. Um, so, I'm sure it's some crazy shit happened, and they don't want to ever talk about it, but, I mean, I'm just curious on how the fuck I got here, um, but, yeah, dude, so, we're from, I was born in California, when my parents got to California, that was originally where they went, so, my, my grandma was there, my uncle was there, our cousins were there, we had family there, so we all went to California, Los Angeles, um, and the place we used to live was actually like in like central Los Angeles. Like we were in like Compton, dude. So we were like a few bus rides oh, away Compton. from Compton. Compton. But yeah, something. Yeah, from, <laughs> yeah, dude, for sure. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, I have no side. Um, uh, so, so, dude, my parents. Um, we got to California. Uh, I moved from there to, to Tennessee to where I lived my whole my whole life probably when I was a few months old. So I I basically grew up in uh, Nashville and stuff. Um, but I mean, I think growing up in Nashville in Tennessee helped a a good bit. I think being raised in the South, low key, is probably a really good thing for most individuals. They make you, I mean, people are really, I mean, I think we're pretty polite. We say, ma'am, sir, we hold, fucking hold the doors for people. Yeah. We go a little bit more out of the way. We're super comforting when people come home. I think that that's a good thing to instill in children, especially me, dude, because I, I, we've never been to America. Like, yeah. I'm learning how everything is working now, like, as, as, like, along with my family and stuff. So, I think... Tennessee was good for me and my development personally, especially compared to California where where I was living. There was gangs and tons yeah. of violence. Fucking what you said earlier, fucking you, Bompton. You, you be a uh, MS-13? Dude, like, no no joke. Um, Someone in my family, he, he, was, he was or yeah. something like that, and he had to go the fuck... Um, Back home. back back to Guatemala, dude. For real? Yeah, yeah, for did, sure. Did they deport him or? Um, no, he he went on his own accord. Just so he could, so he could get away. Damn. Yeah, for sure. So, um, no, dude, I think um, it's it's for right now. I think uh, Tennessee really helped instill a bunch of good morals in me, and I'm never gonna hype up Tennessee like never. that. Never, <laughs> never. But I'm gonna say I think it helped a ton in for you. For my fundamentals as a person.